What's good Planet Earth? Welcome back to the channel. My name's Charlie and thank you for being here. Today we are getting into some more Bill Burr. Now someone told me in the comments section of the plastic surgery video that I reacted to that that wasn't actually the full thing and that it's actually called plastic surgery and lotion. And the second half is arguably funnier than the plastic surgery bit. So we don't want to miss out. So we're going to do the whole thing. Uh, well, I'm not going to do the plastic surgery bit again. If you want to go and see that, I'll leave a link up there at the end of the video. But we are going to do the lotion bit. I found where the last bit ended, the bit that I've already done. And we're going to take it from there. So welcome if you're new. I hope you enjoy the video. And without further ado, let's go. You won't answer no calls. You'd rather be lurking out on the lake. You know what's really, really like actually uh, embarrassing is that the facelift, that's predominantly a white problem. You notice that? I've never seen a black person with a facelift ever. Other than like the Jacksons, but they're all out of their minds, right? <laughs> their dad made them rehearse all day and sleep in the fireplace. <laughs> right? Jamming all night. Get Not in the there, you bastards! No hugs, no kisses. His face permanently twisted up from 50 years of screaming, Sing, motherfucker! <laughs> it's understandable with them. Hey, do you know why so many whiteies need facelifts? I love that word. I'm trying to bring it back. Whiteies. <laughs> I love it. It's funny. Whitey! <laughs> it you know funny. why? Do you know why so many Caucasians need facelifts? Because we don't know about lotion. Yo, facts. Facts, facts. Do you know why my complexion's so great? I'm joking. But I am often complimented on my skin and that I don't look as old as I am. Lotion. And that is thanks to dating black women. <laughs> I love it, it's funny. Why? <laughs> you know why? Do you know why so many Caucasians need facelifts? Because we don't know about lotion. <laughs> See that? Only half of you laughed. That should have been everybody. <laughs> yeah, but a lot of you were sitting there like, well, what about lotion? <laughs> what is this lotion you speak of? And what is the magic therein? Just to put it out there, you can use lotion on other parts of your body besides your dick. <laughs> yeah. Have you ever wondered why your dick still looks brand new, but the rest of you is starting to look like an aging pirate? Because you need to increase the circumference of the lotion distribution. <laughs> All right, you got skin everywhere. Go on, check yourself out. The bottom of your feet look like a prehistoric riverbed. <laughs> That's not part of the natural aging process. You dried out. It's true, man. I'm not judging you. I'm not judging anybody. I didn't know anything about lotion. Never used it the first 33 years of my life. Never used it. Till one night I was going out with this oh, black man. girl, right? She was getting ready and she was just putting that shit on everywhere. Just slathering it on. Right. I thought she had like a rash or something. I'm like, what are they, like poison ivy? What's going on with you? She goes, no, I'm just making sure I'm not ashy. I said, ashy? She goes, dry skin. I went, wow. I guess I freaked her out a little bit because I was like, wow. <laughs> She's like, well, white people get ashy too. I was like, yeah, you know, I, I don't think we do. <laughs> yeah, I've been alive for 33 years. No one has ever said, hey, Bill, uh, you look a little ashy. <laughs> I've never even heard that word until you said it. She's like, you're an idiot. Stick out your arm. So I stick out my... <laughs> It's so true. I've lived this experience. I'd never heard it before. I got such an education when I married a black woman, honestly. It was a learning process. <laughs> My arm, and ever so gently, she just drags her nails down. This smoke starts coming up. It's like pastry flakes flying off, track marks. She's signing her name. She's like, you see that? She goes, that's ashy. You're ashy? <laughs> Freak me out. I'm like, holy shit, I'm ashy. <laughs> I didn't know anything about it. All I knew was that I always got itchy in the winter. <laughs> Couldn't figure it out. Always got itchy in the winter. What the fuck do I get itchy? I thought it went the bath towel was dirty. Dry as fuck. <laughs> and I would change it out and put a fresh one. Now I'm gonna be okay. Take a shower, dry off, fucking itching again. God damn it, I hate the winter. <laughs> See that? That's why you gotta hang out with everybody. <laughs> yeah. There's too much information in the world, and every group of people misses a little bit. It's true, man. White people totally missed the lotion seminar at some point in history. Yeah, we did. I don't know if it's because we can't see it. 
you know, black people get ashy, it looks like they like leaned up against a chalkboard or something. <laughs> you know, they can see it. They miss it, their friends help them out. Like, look at your ashy motherfucking elbow. What is wrong with you, right? We miss that shit the way black people miss the whole register your weapons summit. Right? Just never got the information. The amount of rappers who've been busted for the unregistered Glock in the car just blows my mind. It's like, why would you do that to yourself? Do you just want to make an album over the phone? Is that what it is? Is that like the new auto-tune or some shit? I don't know. No, it breaks my heart every time I see it. I just think, God, if he just had one white friend, he just had one white friend in his entourage, the dude would have been sitting there going like, is that thing registered? <laughs> you out of your mind? Get it out of there. Get it out of there. Yeah, it's illegal. That's like fucking three to five mandatory. Dude, how, do you, how do you not know that? That's the question. How do you not fucking know that? I registered weapon in the car. Like we're just going to go driving around with it. It's just, it's just ridiculous. <laughs> Did you rub it up against the phone? So see, there oh you go. Oh my All god. Right? You don't need a facelift. Okay? Lay off the booze, do some cardio, moisturize. You're gonna be fine. Okay? Don't believe in these myths. Black don't crack. It's bullshit. They all put lotion on like every 20 minutes during the day. It's ridiculous. They all got a giant oil drum of the shit at home. Every morning they wake up, they dump themselves in it, shake themselves off, and walk out the door absolutely glistening. Glistening! <laughs> White guys like me are walking around, no hat on. Hey, let's go sailing! <laughs> Passing out face down in the sand. Welcome to the Afterthought. Uh, I don't really have one, to be honest. That was absolutely hilarious. I don't really have anything more to add. Absolutely my lived experience. Um, there are many, many white people that still don't know about lotion. Let's start a campaign. Um, but yeah, incredible. Bill Burr is an absolute go. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Let me know what you thought in the comments. Stick around for some more. Support me on Patreon if you can, because reactions don't pay. And, uh, and I hope to see you here again. Anyway, have a great day. And as always, be kind to yourselves. Love everybody and take care. I freaking love you guys. You know,